Hello all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In the last session we have discussed some important equations from module 3. Today we are going to discuss an important equation from module 5 and uh, in the previous session we have partially discussed important equation from module 4 that I would like to elaborate. However, let me discuss the important concept and equation from module 5. Later on I will direct you the important equation, important mathematical expression from module 4 which is partially completed in the previous session. Let's get started. In the module 5 is mainly comprises of tariff, then power transmission, distribution, then safety precautions. Regarding the safety precautions, transmission distribution, you may not expect uh, the numerical example. Anyway, you can expect some numerical example from the tariff. I have already, I have to do the videos on tariff and uh, please do wait for that. I will be uploading soon. However, let us directly move on to the important expression so that you can face the examination without any issues. So, two part tariff is very important. Okay, two part tariff comprises of the fixed charge as well as the running charge. So, here the total tariff has been segmented into two. One is fixed part and the other one is uh, running charge. So, total charge can be computed using the formula uh, rupees. See, in terms of rupees only, rupees whatever the currency it may be based on the country. Okay, rupees B into KW. Okay, B means the cost per kilowatts and uh, C into kilowatt hour. So, this is actually called a maximum demand, correct now, maximum demand, maximum demand which will be expressed in terms of kilowatts, right, KW, KW means kilowatts and what is kilowatt hour, it is actually units, number of units consumed, number of units, correct, energy, right, number of units, units means energy, right, okay, what is C, C means the cost per units, where uh, B is the cost per maximum demand or cost per kilowatts. So, this is required whenever you are solving some uh, numerical example. At that time, this, this formula is required. They may ask you to compute what is the total cost, what is the total tariff concerning for a particular building or a particular area. At that time, you can recall this formula. Yes. Now, how to calculate the total units consumed per year? That's a question. Total units consumed for a year. Okay. Year means the 365 days. No. Okay. So, you can use the formula the maximum demand multiplied with the load factor into total hours in a year. Total hours in a year how to calculate? So, 365, you know, 365 days and 24 hours. 365 times 24 hours, then you will be getting total hours in a year. It's approximately 8760. And uh, what is load factor? Load factor is a, what I can say, load factor is nothing but the average load. It's a constant actually, it's a fraction. The average load divided by Okay. average load average load divided by maximum demand that is called a load factor sometimes they may give you average load and maximum demand but a load factor may not be given at that time you need to recall that what is load factor average load divided by maximum demand like that you can plan so these are the important equations which I found in module 5 there are few but uh, I am not sure that that will be asked in the examination but uh, these kind of questions I have seen several times so, you can expect these kind of questions in the university examination. Hope you are noting down this. And also they may ask you that what is the commercial unit of electricity? That is kilowatt hour, KWH. Or you can call it as a unit, unit or kilowatt hour. That point also you can remember. Rest of the mathematical equation I could not find out from module 5. If I noticed, I can make a separate video on that. Time For the time being, this is quite important. I hope you are updating this. And in the previous session, uh, I have explained about... Uh, the alternator important equation from alternator of module 4 but uh, i need to have little bit of time for elaborating the induction motor in case of induction motor you must have studied about the rotative magnetic field here the resultant flux can be written as 1.5 times of maximum flux phi r so what is a slip speed slip speed is nothing but the difference between the synchronous speed and the speed of the rotor ns minus n that is also expressed in terms of RPM only. Difference in the speed, synchronous speed and rotor speed. Then uh, one of the very important terminology called slip. Slip is nothing but the NS minus N divided by NS. If you want, you can express in terms of percentage by multiplying with the 100. NS minus N divided by NS, where NS is known as synchronous speed. Do remember this. N is the speed of rotor. So, you should understand what is a slip speed. Ns minus n means you will get a slip speed. But if you take the ratio like Ns minus n to the Ns, then you will be getting slip. 
very essential equation do remember 100 percentage you can expect these kind of questions in the university examination now if you are preparing for gate examination also that will be really helpful especially for electrical domain but uh, for all engineering students it will be helpful for uh, clearing the examination for the first year especially uh, then uh, next one is very important formula that is uh, how to calculate the frequency or frequency of the induced emf at the rotor part so do use the formula f dash is equal to s into f okay what is s s is the slip you know how to calculate the slip right ns minus n divided by ns f is the supply frequency so these are the things you need to uh, note down this very 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 essential uh, hope you are noting down and uh, let us wind up the session here today we are we have discussed about the important equations concerning uh, module 5 and uh, partial equations which uh, we could not elaborate in the last session that is the module for especially induction motor part let me know if you are having any queries i would like to thank you for listening this video wish you all the very best for your examination do your best